setup I have, I'll just move the camera, there we go, just got my normal obviously a blue sofa in my music room where I do all the videos, alright got all the uh, all the dip cans there, alright starting to get a decent towel now, alright shout out to mug jug, alright got my three mug jugs there, I've got my go to roadie, A bit of the display in the background. Got my uh, custom cap. All right, and I've got my the Yorkshire Dipper T-shirt. Keep calm and pack a dip. Putting a bit of a uh, English saying or British saying on uh, on the old dip there. So that's that's where obviously you see my videos, and I'm normally just sat there just chatting away stuff like that. Uh, the setup that I obviously have in front of me. All right, I've got the iPad there. Uh, just with a few notes on that I obviously go off to try and keep my videos flowing a little bit more. All right. Testing the old uh, SJ cam out there. All right. It was a recent buy that I got. Pretty decent camera. Just getting used to it a little bit, trying to change the field of views on it and stuff like that. Because it's more, to be fair, more of an action cam than what it is for a camera that's suited to this. But I'll, uh, I'll make it work. I've just got my little uh, tripod stand there. That I use when it comes to my phone and recording. So yeah, this is my band room. All right, we've got the obviously walking through the main door, and quite lucky to be fair, quite fortunate. All right, uh, this drum kit is actually the the band's drum kit as such I get from work. So this is obviously already paid for, and all the rest of it by obviously the company that I work for and all the rest of it. Kind of a little bit more of a custom custom kit, it's just a normal uh, Tamar kit, so you've got your bass there, right, your two high toms, your floor tom, and then a snare, and then it actually came with just a package, came with the hi-hat there, all right, came with uh, obviously one of the cymbals there, a uh, ride cymbal, and then we had a few more different drum kits, so I've just basically Frankensteined it, all right, nicked it, it's pretty beat up, but it still plays the part, all right, just a bit of a splash cymbal there. Uh, another hi hat there, because right, as a drummer I'm still getting used to uh, using the pedals on the hi hats as such. Obviously, being a bit more uh, of a metal man, right, if you can see there, I can do it right. I've got the uh, Dixon, I've got a double bass pedal there, so we can get some uh, heavy metal on the go. Always keeps me happy there. Uh, drumsticks I use. I used to use some uh, just some cheapy wooden ones. All right, they're not really branded as such. All right, but the ones I use now are just a, a head drumsticks. I think these ones are A5s. The old black and uh, white tips there. Pretty decent drum sticks, to be fair. In the summer, obviously, it gets pretty hot in this room, so I've got a fan. Obviously, it points to me when I'm drumming away with my band and all the rest of it. I've uh, got me practice set up here, so I've got my uh, score candy headphones there that obviously I just put those in and I can drum along to my tracks and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, band I'm in at the minute, obviously I'm, I'm drumming, but I do have other talents. My first drive that I got to was guitars, so these are just a, f a few, alright, with my guitars that I have that I'd uh, share them with you. 
So I've got my Les Paul custom on the Epiphone, not Gibson. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not lucky enough to have that. Uh, it's currently under repairs. The uh, bridge pickup itself uh, isn't really, isn't really working, and I need that for the sound that I need to get. I've got a color, old school Epiphone kind of strap there. Epiphone by Gibson, slightly modded. It was set up for three single coil. All right, so I ripped all that out, chiselled the body away inside, and I've got two, uh, two blackout humbuckers in there. Pretty decent sound. Changed the pick guard, new strings on it. Right, it was an old guitar that my brother had. Uh, got used and abused, you can see. All right, it's all, all holes everywhere, and it's starting to wear in really nice now, but it's a pretty decent guitar. Uh, and I stick that one on the uh, drop D tuning, so that's mainly for the heavier songs and the humbuckers that are with it kind of go with it. Next to that, Move on to, I've right, got a Squire Showmaster. All right, it was a steal off eBay that, about 40 pound. All right, so absolute steal. Uh, to say the guitar is probably worth about 120 to 200 quid. Uh, set up on that, I've got humbuckers, got a single coil, uh, and then at the neck, I've got another single coil there. Beautiful sound that comes out of that guitar. One volume, one tone, and then we've got, got excuse me, a Squire. All right, tremolo there, which is pretty decent. All right, it's not as good as obviously a Flood Royce or something like that, or one of the Ibanez's uh, own brand. Whammy bars or tremolos, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure I'll get some comments about that, but it does the job. And obviously, it's all, all locked out there as well. Next one I've got, all right, I've got Telecaster, just again, Squire. All right, maple fretboard. All right, it goes to the uh, tobacco sunburst. All right, and it's just, you know, Single coil at the bridge, and then a uh, single coil at the neck there. I right, customised it a little bit, all right. Blacked it out here. The uh, tuners and knobs are all blacked out. Uh, black plate there, but then I've still gone with the uh, the silver looking bit there, because then that matches obviously with, with this. So there we go with that. Plays well. I uh, believe that's standard tuning. Uh, same with the, uh, the other Squire as well. I guess I'm obviously a big fan of Metallica. Uh, it goes with the music, which I'm sure will get me into trouble at some stage in my uh, dip videos. All right, everyone's got to have one. You've got to have a Flying V. Yeah, as again, it's on the Epiphone. All right, but it does the job. And that was set at Drop C because I was covering a lot of St. Anger stuff. And I've had it for a fair few time. As again, got it off eBay, pretty cheap deal on that. I think it was uh, £80 or something like that. Uh, and I've started to wear it in nice air, so it's got a little dinks in it. and. You can see where I wish I was sweating and it's all a little bit minging on there. Uh, I kind of like that. I don't like my guitar guitars too clean. I only like the necks clean on them, to be fair, and the rest of it. I like to like to think that a guitar is kind of it's his own person, own personality, so it starts to come out with that. So pretty decent. Great sound from those humbuckers as well. <coughs> Moving on. Right, I've got my Epiphone Explorer there. Standard tuning, all right, uh, and then bought this and it had the Seymour Duncan dime bag uh, hot rails in it already, which absolutely amazing pickup. All right, shout out to Dime, all right, may you rest in peace, absolute guitar legend. All right, get a great sound from those, and uh, it's got two volume and a tone there. As again, a bit of sweat on there, a bit of spit on there, a bit of dirt, whatever, all right, just to uh, bring the personality of the guitar out a little bit more. I, I do like that. Uh, pretty decent there. Next one I got as a birthday present, I believe, off my off my dad. Just uh, off the Thurman website. Uh, it was a basically build your own guitar kind of thing. So I thought, you know, I wanted a. Uh, I'm gonna have to get one anyway, but I wanted an Epiphone SG. Uh, didn't get that unfortunately. But there we go. That's life. Uh, got this one. It was just all bare wood, all the rest of it, so I sprayed it up, kind of went for the uh, kind of a black sunburst there, and all I've done is relic tape, so when it comes to like the pickups and that, I've got a bit of sandpaper on there and relic them, to make it look a little bit cool. So yeah, it's a bit of a fake, fake relic, because it's not natural compared to on the Flying V there, where that's obviously natural wear, where your, your palm would kind of sit when you're playing. I've got to give a shout out to Thelman. Because it is, and to be fair, it is a cheap 
guitar, excuse me, compared to like obviously the Explorers and the Epiphone and stuff like that. But they have done a pretty decent job, all right, with the body and the neck. All right, it's nice and smooth, all right, and the pickups as well. They are just cheap, probably two pound pickups, but they do uh, they do what out a little bit and they are pretty decent through obviously the amps that I, that I use. Obviously, if I turn it around a little bit, you can see where I've relic the neck there. Obviously, most of my playing uh, roughly is like power chords and kind of melody stuff. A lot of the James Hetfield I try and play because he's my, he's my go-to man as a guitarist. I think he's awesome. There we go. Got an acoustic. That one's got top on. All right, this one's just a crafter. All right, pretty decent guitar. Had it for many, many years. All right, a bit of an electroacoustic there, so you can uh, wire it up to the amps and all the rest of it to make it a little bit louder and obviously put your effects through it and things like that. The first guitar I ever got was my bass guitar. All right, it's Rockwood by Horner, just a four string. I right, just modded this a little bit so I blacked out the pick, uh, the scratch guard should I say, and obviously the pickups just sprayed in black and then done the same to the knobs as well uh, to try and black it out to go, go with the theme. And the second guitar that I got, uh, another cheap piece to be fair, but it still plays pretty well, uh, is a Crafter by Cruiser. Same thing, blacked out the pick guard, all right, blacked out all the, uh, the pickup uh, mounts and all the rest of it, the tuners there as well. Now this one I originally had a stencil put on it, uh, sprayed over the stencil, took the stencil off and then sprayed it again, which caused that, so it's kind of a bio sign, but it was pretty cool at the time. Obviously being 14, 15, all right, listening to a lot of System of the Down and all the rest of it. That's obviously what I thought was pretty cool. So there we go with that. What I use, all right, my, my go-to is kind of line six. So I've got my FPV there. All right, it's just a four-way switch. It goes through the channels A, B, C, D. All right, bit of a whammy on there. Uh, a wah pedal, should I say, and then the pedal just acts as, acts as a volume when I'm cutting about it. Standard Yamaha cheaper tuner, does the job, tunes the basses up and the guitars up. Uh, buy I actually got from New York, 